YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's AquaCats back here with another video. I hope you guys had a great holiday season. I know I did. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I took a nice little vacation, but I am back, guys. Like I said, I hope you had a great holiday. I hope you got everything that was on your list, and I hope you secured the PC over the holidays, because of course this is a PC video. <laughs> But with that being said, today I'm just going to show you guys how to get maximum performance from your PC, how to speed up your CPU, and how to gain just a tad bit more FPS from your GPU. And they're all just simple setting changes, no downloads are required. So if you guys enjoy this video and you find it helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Also go ahead and subscribe guys, I'm telling you, 2021 is going to be the year of the cats, we're going to go brazy on this channel. Hopefully you guys stick around to see me glow up. But without any further ado, here we go. Alright guys, so first things first, you're going to want to come down here and we're just going to type in power. Go to power and sleep settings. Come over here to additional power settings. And make sure that you guys are on balance. Um, as you can see, it just automatically balances performance and energy consumptions. Uh, yin and yang guys. <laughs> it does work really well and that's what I've always kept mine on. But anyways... After that, you want to go to change settings, come right here to change the advanced power settings. Come over here to processor power management. Now this is normally on five. What you want to do is go ahead and turn that to zero. And what that does is it just eases some stress on your computer when you're not really using it and you don't need to game on it or you're not trying to run multiple files or anything like that. And also make sure that your maximum is on 100 because obviously when you do need to use your computer you want to make sure that you can use your complete processor. Okay so now we're going to head on over here to our storage. And with this you just want to make sure that your storage sense is turned on. Um, it does help you in the long run. And also make sure that your temporary files are deleted. You can also go to optimize drives and here you would just pick whichever drive you want to optimize for me i've already done mine but yours may say that you need to optimize it so you can just go ahead and click that optimize button so now we're going to head on to disk cleanup and you want to pick whichever drive we're doing our ssds so i'm going to go there and with this you just want to go ahead and click on whatever you want to clean up um, temporary files recycle bin you could pretty much clean up anything in here. It's not going to ruin your PC. So we'll go ahead and just do that. Okay, guys. And once that's done, you want to go to privacy settings. And you just want to make sure that all of your privacy settings are turned off. Privacy settings do slow your computer. I don't know why they're needed. Also go over here to location and just make sure that your locations are turned off and everything down here below is turned off as well. It's just a bunch of background apps that are running while you're trying to game or multitask or whatever you're using your computer for and it's slowing down your computer. So next on the agenda is notifications. And once you're in here, you just honestly want to make sure everything is turned off. I know notifications are very nice and convenient for your emails or your updates or whatever. But when you have those things trying to load in the background, it does kind of affect your CPU and it also can affect your GPU, especially if you're in a high demanding game, you will experience some lag while that is trying to load in the background. Also, I would recommend turning off your tips and tricks. That can slow down your PC as well. You should know how to use Windows. But if you don't, then leave tips and tricks on by all means. And as soon as you get comfortable with Windows, I would recommend just turning it off. Turn off everything here, guys. So the next thing that you guys can do is go to Task Manager. And you want to go to Just Startup. And you want to disable as much things as possible. I only have three things enabled. And what you're disabling is everything that will start up on your initial startup. So if your PC is turned off or maybe even asleep for a very long time, sometimes you'll have tons of pop-ups from your apps trying to start all at once and it will slow down your computer. So just go ahead and turn off as many things as you can, guys. All right, so now we're gonna get into the juicy part. So on your keyboard, go ahead and hit Windows R and you're gonna type in temp. 
and here you will see all of your temporary files I've already deleted mine because I knew I was gonna make this video this is actually what made me want to make the video was just deleting these temporary files I was like oh that'd be a great video <laughs> So yeah guys, I've already deleted mine, but I'm sure you'll have tons of temporary files and what you'll want to do is just go ahead and delete all of those. So guys, after those things delete, you want to go ahead and hit Windows R once more and this time you're going to do percent sign, temp, percent sign. And this will be everything else that needs to be deleted as well. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but temp and percent temp is two different things. So you can go ahead and delete these. I actually have to delete these. so. I'll delete them with you guys. Okay, so next we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. What you're gonna wanna do is type in msconfig. Now here you wanna go to services and make sure that you hide all Microsoft services so you don't accidentally delete anything important like let's say system 32. <laughs> but anyways guys, here you wanna pretty much delete whatever you don't need as you can see a lot of things run in the background that you do need some things are stopped like here I personally don't need to delete anything from here but if you guys did see something that you don't have anymore or you don't think that you do need you can go ahead and delete it alright guys so now I'm gonna show you how to get just a tad bit better performance from your GPU there's only a couple of settings that you can change so to see those settings, you want to go ahead and right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. If you have AMD, I'm not too sure how your control panel will look, but hopefully you can follow along. So when you're here, you want to go to power management mode and you just want to go to prefer maximum performance. It's put on optimal power. Um, you you want the most out of, out of your GPU, so just go with maximum performance, guys. And now here with quality, always go to high performance. Now I know you think high performance may be lower quality or something like that, but it's honestly not guys. I see no difference in my qualities when I switch between quality and performance. The only difference that I do see is a higher FPS because high performance requires less strain on your GPU and honestly these don't really matter because you have in-game settings that do matter so just go ahead and throw that on high performance guys and it'll help you out all right guys so that pretty much ends the video hopefully these setting changes can help your pc perform just a little bit better and always remember to keep on top of your temporary files because they will be back guys so always remember these steps and if you can't remember the steps just use this video as a reference but with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I could help out.